camping trip number two. It's not really camping. I mean, come on. It's called glamping. I set up the trailer in record time. It took me like 10 minutes to get it parked. Reversed first time into this position. Got the fire on, the gas fire. My dog has a t-shirt on because the poor guy had an operation yesterday. He had to have a cyst removed from his body and he's got stitches. So now he has to wear a t-shirt so he can't chew at them. So poor guy's got a t-shirt on. But it looks kind of cool, don't you, Mac? We've got some burgers on my outside grill with a little bit of firewood for later because we have a fire pit right there next to the picnic table. This site's private again. It doesn't back onto anything. And on the other side, uh, we're just basically looking at the mountain. We were so impressed with this campsite, this whole campground, that we decided to inquire, and you can buy memberships here. We actually bought a lifetime membership, which means we can camp all year for free now, as many times as we want. So this is our so we are set up inside as well. Rhonda's getting used to setting up inside as I set up outside. That's kind of the way we split it. Glenn looks after the outside. Rhonda looks after in here. We brought with us an Apple TV. We're going to try and see if we can stream to the TV and maybe watch movies later or something. What else have we done since last time? The first trip, it was to figure out what we liked, what we didn't like about the trailer. One thing we didn't like is, in the shower, loose bottles of shampoo. So we bought one of these dispensers. The paper towel is under it because Rhonda just filled them and spilt some. We've also, unfortunately, had to bring Mac Dog's, that's his little house that he sleeps in at home. And because he is not feeling very good after the operation, we thought we would bring his little house with us. So at least he feels a little bit more at home and probably makes him feel a bit better. And of course, uh, the bedroom, that's my, honestly, my favorite part of this trailer is that King size bed, it is so comfortable. Can't wait for tonight for a good sleep. Anyway, that's the setup inside. You saw the setup outside, and I'm feeling like we are getting to know the trailer pretty good. Glenn's Outdoor Bistro. Look at those burgers coming on. Ho oh, ho, Rhonda! Um, can't wait. Can't wait for these, they look great, eh? Get that ice! Where's your ice, Mac? Get it! Get Good morning, look at the blue sky! It is so nice today. We had a great night last night. Spent a lot of time outside till about 11 o'clock last night, outside the camper, the trailer. Uh, we are now uh, set up, ready for breakfast. Here's my outdoor kitchen. I'm gonna, gonna be grilling sausages, Rhonda, right? Sausages. Yeah. And I set up this really cool, I can't remember if I showed you this, the first trip out we had camping, but this is a, uh, it's actually a fillet table for filleting fish. And it's got its own little sink and water supply. It's just cool for the outdoor kitchen, for washing pots, rinsing veg. And it connects, the tap, this uh, tap, connects straight into this quick connect on the back of the trailers. It's a really cool little setup. So one good thing, well, we think it's good. Some people might think, is not so good because we're quite close to home really the uh, 
RV campground where we now have a membership and we are camping is only probably 20 minutes drive to our house which is for us it's cool uh, within 20 minutes we leave home and we're at the campground setting up the other good thing is I also work locally so during the summer we're planning on spending extended number of weeks at the campground because we can have up to three weeks with our membership and I'll be able to just use the RV as my home base and go to work from there just like I do from home so that's another reason why we chose uh, the campground which was close to our town it just works out it just works for us so and it's a great RV campsite and honestly you don't feel we don't feel like we are only 20 minutes from home if we forget anything or need anything it's just a 20 minute drive and actually I'm heading home right now I've left uh, Rhonda at the campsite we need a few things that we forgot we are just still setting up the trailer this is only our second trip out so there's things that you forget and then things you realize you need so I'm just making a quick trip home to gather those few things and then back I'll be there and back within an hour so that's also great for us we also live in a, a really uh, pretty part of uh, Canada we're about one hour, one hour's drive east of Vancouver on the west coast of Canada. A little community called uh, Cultus Lake. And it's maybe a little bit ironic because Cultus Lake is probably the most popular destination for people in Vancouver and the surrounding area to come with their travel trailers and RVs for camping. We have around Cultus Lake, I would say six campgrounds, which are all beautiful. So when we hook up the trailer at home and we uh, head out of Cultus Lake, we're normally passing people heading into Cultus Lake, pulling their travel trailers while we head out. And they're probably thinking, yep, you know, they've uh, been camping at Cultus Lake and they're heading home. In reality, we are leaving home to go camp elsewhere. So we're just entering Cultus Lake now. It's a very popular summertime resort. You can see over here, maybe, if I can show you. We have an adventure park. And over this way, you can see uh, we've got a large water slides park, which gets really busy during the summer. And uh, of course the lake, Cultus Lake, is a lake. And the lake has got lots of beaches and boat launches and recreation areas, day use areas, picnic areas. It gets very busy during the summer. Which again, so tonight's gourmet dinner, well, it's pretty plain actually for us, but we're gonna have mashed potatoes with skin on, of course, some sweet corn. Then if we had outside to Glen's area we just finished a campfire there it's still light but we're also having grilled pork chops look at those hey just awesome so that's uh, what we're having for dinner and then we're gonna actually curl up on the couch and watch a movie.